we found a new manuscript and it can be attributed to one of Filippo Dardi's students. Or maybe not, uh, bear with me. In short, an article was published, I think the name was by Dr. Uh, Professor Giovanni Rossi, <laughs> sorry, that claimed that a new manuscript has, had been discovered and restored and that it could be attributed to Filippo Dali himself or one of his students. Great, right? Now, it turned out that it is a fake. The article dated to December 2023, so apparently it had been online already for almost half a year. But apparently during the last week or last two weeks it got a lot of traction. Um, it was sent around to a lot of emails. At some point even a pretty known and big name of the HEMA bubble sent it out and thought it was legit, at least for a short amount of time. So it got sent out to a lot of people who thought it was legit. People were super excited, obviously, they already started to discuss it, even to interpret the techniques. And it got busted only after, I think, last Sunday, or last weekend anyways, um, Wichtenauer posted a statement. And this left me with the question, how could this happen? After I took a look at the paper myself, I found a lot of clues that made me really suspicious about it. And um, I guess that how so many people thought it was legit is a mix of people getting overly excited over finally having a new manuscript to work with and also people not having looked up the whole thing but they probably uh, just read through the transcription of the manuscript fragments and they didn't even look at the rest of the article. How can you uh, check if an article or a paper is legit or if it smells fishy. Even if you um, don't speak the language the article was written in, even if you aren't an academic, even if you don't know much about the historical background, even if you aren't a hemist. And all you need to do a quick check is basically uh, just the internet. You just have to Google stuff to get some first clues about how legit or not legit an article or a paper is. Number one, where was it uploaded? Uh, just briefly Google the portal or the site where the article or the paper was uploaded and try to find uh, information about it being reliably in an, from an academic perspective or not. In this case, the paper was uploaded to academia.edu which sounds fancy, but if you Google it and you just browse briefly through the results you get, you see, you see that a lot of people apparently question how legit it is. And if you look at the Wikipedia entry, you find a large, a large chapter on criticism only. And there's apparently also no review on the stuff that is uploaded, so basically anybody with an email address can upload something there, it seems. Now, I'm not saying that legit papers or articles aren't uploaded on that site, but this is one first clue that should make you suspicious, and on the journey, the more clues uh, you gather, the more likely it is for the paper not to be legit. Number two, so what we do is we Google the offer, we Google the institution. Usually it's an university or you know some magazine uh, that prints scientific papers or articles. In our case, if you Google the offer, you find nothing else on that person except for this one article. And when it comes to the university that is named in the title, if you Google that one, you see, okay, no university. So in the first results of my Google research. So again, two other clues that something might be off. So to Google, the author, the institution and the site where it was uploaded is what anybody of us can do, even if we don't speak Italian, right? Now the next thing you do is obviously you look at the content of the article, you read through it briefly, the whole thing, not just the transcription. Obviously, you have a big advantage if you speak the language it is written in, if you uh, know anything about history and restoration processes of old manuscripts, 
but I think in this case, um, to be honest, all you need to do is to copy paste the text from the PDF of the article into Google Translate or DeepL or uh, ChatGPT and you would find a lot of anom anom anomalies, anomalies, a lot of anomalies and a lot of things that just seem strange uh, for the fact of it allegedly being an article written by a doctor professor, so a doctor professor, whatever. Uh, the first thing that I, for example, noticed is that the author references several figures throughout the text, but these figures are nowhere to be found. In part two of this article, there are several paragraphs that are just identical. So it seems like someone uh, copy-pasted the paragraph from one point to another point and then forgot to delete it. And then didn't even proofread for the article to see that some of the paragraphs were just, you know, double. Next up, there is a bibliography. Uh, at the end of the article, there are books and other articles that are referenced, which is totally fine. This would actually be a good sign. But you can briefly just copy paste one of these titles into Google again to see if it actually exists. And surprise, surprise, in the case of our fake uh, Filippo Davi article, uh, I just googled two of them and there's nothing to be found. If you know anything about restoration processes, if you are a hemist, if you know Italian, there are even more things that are odd in this article and that you could notice, but I think you don't really have to because up to this point, is, these are all things you could have noticed just by using in the internet and Google and it's a lot of clues that something is off. So what I want all of us to do now, including myself, because I got way too excited too when I got uh, sent the link and before reading for the whole paper, uh, we all put our hand over our heart and we swear that from now on, every time a new paper or article or manuscript comes up and we read something about it, that we will read for the whole thing and that we will at least do a quick Google research to check if it's legit or not before we talk publicly about it, okay? If you found even more things that didn't add up in this specific article or if you have more suggestions on how to check if a, an article or a paper could be legit or not, let us know in the comments. Um, also, if I forgot anything or if I uh, said something wrong, you can correct me. Just stay respectful in the comments as always towards me but also towards each other. Did you even hear about it or is this complete news to you? Um, Maybe you were among those who already started to interpret it, so maybe you can tell us even more things that didn't add up. But anyways, this is all I have to say on this topic. Um, as always, thank you for watching. If you like our content, leave a like and subscribe. We wish you an awesome day, have a lot of fun in training, and see you in the next one.